we made it to our third week and now that we have been practicing a lot foundational poses we're going to move forward with variations we're going to start exploring what is coming next so if you feel like you're not there yet that's fine and if you don't know so you are welcome to explore yourself because it's the only way to know what our body can do when we try and so you're so welcome to try have your blocks and anything that you've been using lately and if you need them you know that you can use it so today we're going to start in a comfortable seated position that could be anything that could be cross leg ankles front ankles and if you're a little bit more advanced maybe you can half lotus all right so anything is good just make sure that your right leg is front and when you're ready start relaxing your shoulders and disconnecting from the reality for anything that happens before this moment just start disconnecting of all that and just connecting with your inner self close your eyes and start breathing through the nose inhale and exhale Once you're ready, you're gonna bring your arms up. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, bring your arms forward. Maybe slide forward. Make sure that your sit bones are grounding. If you cannot make it this far, that's fine. Maybe you can place a block to relax your forehead down. And breathe deeper. And then exhale very slow, activate your fingertips and walk all the way to the left. Making sure that your right knee is grounding. Inhale, and then exhale, relax, nose to knee. Enjoy the side stretching, breathe deeper. Level the shoulders as much as you can. Maybe you can place your left forehand forearm down and maybe you can bring your right arm up if this is too much you can bring your elbow up off the mat so you decide your body your practice breathe deeper and then exhale very slow right arm down walk your hands all the way to center and then walk your hands all the way back to bring your torso up and this time we're going to switch legs your left leg on the front same thing we're going to inhale bring your arms up look up and then exhale bring your arms forward and slide make sure your sit bones are grounding breathe deeper Activate your fingertips and walk your hands all the way to the right. Your left knee is down, breathe. Maybe you can place your right forearm down and bring your left arm up. Breathe, enjoy the side stretching and breathe deeper. And then exhale, breathe slow, and walk to center. Walk the hands back to bring your torso up. And once you're ready, come forward and find your tabletop. Make sure the alignment. Once we're here in tabletop, we're gonna prepare for cacao. We're going to drop the belly, open the chest, look up, inhale. And then exhale, round the back and through your navel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more and last one, inhale. And then exhale. Come back to neutral, and this time place your fingers uh, look into your body. So we're going to turn around the wrist. It's gonna be, it might be intense, so do your best. We're going to do 
Cat cows one more time. We're going to inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And then exhale, round the back. One more inhale. And then exhale. Come back to neutral. And this time just move your body forward and back. Just find your edge. Breathe deeply to your breasts, listening to your breasts, be thankful for them. And then when you're ready, turn your fingers pointing forward. Bring your right leg out, toes are pointing down. Breathe, this is your first option. If you want more, bring your left arm out, frame your left ear and breathe. You're gonna stay here or you're gonna come with me. We're going to inhale, bring your knee to elbow, ground the back, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out. One more and last one, inhale in, exhale out. Bend your right leg, and with your left arm, you're gonna grab your right foot. If it's possible, you can use a strap. And here, you can bring your left foot close to your glute if you want to feel the stretching on the right thigh, or maybe kick as high as you can. Breathe deeper. And then exhale, release, bring your left arm down. Extend your right leg and turn your body all the way to the left. Place the right foot down and bring your right arm up. Inhale, maybe you can frame your right ear, right arm, right ear, and give yourself a nice good stretch and breathe deeper. If you want, only if you want, you can bring your right leg up and find your right foot close. Do one more time. Maybe you can kick back, maybe not. And then exhale very slow, come back to center, tabletop. And here we're going to place the right foot between our hands. Bring your back knee all the way back. And find your low lunge, Anayasana. Breathe deeper. Here's the variation for the arms. You can bring it up, open. Or you can interlace fingers behind and slide the hands to your left to offer your heart. Open your chest and breathe. Then exhale very slow. Frame your right foot. Bring your hips back for half a split. Walk your hands back. And here I'm gonna give you the first challenge. So here you're going to bring your right leg as high as you can using your core and breathe for five. Yes, you can, four, three. Yes, you're super powerful, true. And one, release. Frame your right foot, leave your left hand where it is, and open to your right. Breathe deeper if you want to feel a stretch on the left thigh. You can use your right hand to bring your left foot close to your glute. Breathe deeper. Release, bring both hands inside of the right foot. Move your right foot all the way to the right, and find your lizard pose. So you're gonna stay here, Maybe you can bring both forearms down. Keep your neck long, don't let the head go. Breathe deeper. If you want and you're a little bit more flexible, you can bring your right foot on the edge of the right so you feel the stretching deeper. Breathe. And then exhale very slow, come to your hands, walk your right foot to center, place your both hands, activate the back leg and find runner lunge. 
and then from here press the hands down and kick your right leg back and find a plank pose for here activate the core and hold for five four three two and one all the way down and from here we're going to interlace fingers behind and we're going to prepare for locus we're going to inhale bring the chest legs arms up and then exhale down inhale chin chest legs up exhale down Place your hands under your shoulders, tuck the toes, and prepare for your first downward dog. Hips up and back. Move around your downward dog if you need. Or find a stillness. Breathe deeper. Whenever you're ready, bring both feet together, come to your tippy toes, heels high, bend the knees, look forward between your hands, jump or step forward. We're going to inhale halfway, exhale full, inhale halfway, exhale full. Bend the knees and bring your body all the way up, head last, roll the shoulders up and back. Once you're ready, bring your arms up, inhale, and then exhale, bring your hands to the right. Maybe you can look up. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Maybe look over the opposite side. Exhale, come back to center, exhale, four forward. Press your hands down, bring your right leg back, left leg back, plank pose, and from plank pose we're going to place both knees down to tabletop. And this time we're going to bring our left leg out, toes are pointing down, breathe. This is your first choice, second right arm up, breathe. You're going to stay here or inhale, knee to elbow, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, exhale out, stay here and bend your left leg and with your right hand you're going to grab your left foot, you can bring your um, heel close to your glutes or kick all the way back, your choice, breathe deeper. And then exhale, place your right hand down, extend your left leg, turn your body all the way to the right, and bring your left arm up, maybe you can look up, and extend your left arm over your left ear, come back to neutral, and maybe you can bring your left leg up, maybe you can grab the left foot, and same thing. You can keep back or keep the foot close to your glute. Breathe deeper, open your chest. And then exhale very slow, come back to center, left hand back, bring your left foot between your thumbs, walk the back knee. And whenever you're ready, come for low lunge, Anjanayasana. And here the same variation you did before, you will repeat and breathe deeper. And then exhale very slow, friend your left foot, lift your right hand where it is and bring your left arm up. Look up, breathe. And then 
exhale, bring your left arm down, bring your hips back for half a split, inhale, and then exhale. Breathe deeper. You know where it's coming. Exhale very slow, walk your hands back, and you know our challenge. We're going to inhale, bring your left leg as high as you can, doesn't matter, breathe. For five, four, smile, three, two, shaking is good, and one, release. Ooh. This time you're going to bring both hands inside for laser pose. Place your forearms down. Breathe deeper. Keep the neck long. Remember, don't let the head go. And then exhale very slow. Place your hands down. Bring your left foot. Activate the back leg for runner lunge. Breathe. Press your hands down and kick your left leg back for plank pose and activate the core one more time. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down. Interlace fingers behind one more time and prepare for locus. We're going to inhale, chest, chin, legs up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Press your hands under your shoulders. Activate the back toes and find your downward dog. Hips back and up. Up and back and breathe deeper. Now we're going to prepare for our flow. Bring your right leg up halfway. Toes are pointing down. And bring your right foot between your hands. Activate the back leg. And whenever you're ready, bring your torso up. For high lunge, relax the shoulders. You know this pose, we have been here before. Breathe deeper. For five, four, three, two, and one. Move your body weight forward and breathe for three, two, and one this time, this is a challenge. You're gonna bring your left knee up, whoop, and then kick back. And then a smile and bring your left knee up and back. And one more, up and back. And this time, grab your blocks if you have them. And this is what we're gonna do. If you have your blocks, you're gonna press your hands and you're gonna bring your left leg up. And this is your preparation for warrior three. If you don't have blocks, you don't want to use the blocks or, or you're just ready for this, then from here, place your hands to your hips and then just, just move your body forward. I'm fine here. You can keep your arms in prayer or fly. Breathe deeper. And then exhale very slow, bring the torso up, left knee up, breathe, balance. Keep your left leg on the way to the front, breathe. And then exhale very slow, place it next to your right and find your shared pose. Hands in prayer, left elbow, outside of the right knee, twist. Breathe. If you want more, make sure here that your hands in prayer, your right elbow 
is up, your, your hands are in the center of your heart. If you want more, you can open your arms. Breathe deeper. Keep your hips in center. And then exhale, come up. Fall forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fall. You're gonna press your hands down so you can jump back or uh, walk back. So jump into your lower plank. Inhale, cobra, upper dog. And then exhale, downward dog. I know, breathe. Recover the rhythm of your breath here. If you need to take child's pose, you're so welcome to. Breathe deeper. Once you're ready, find downward dog. And from here, we're going to bring the left leg up. Just halfway, toes are pointing down, breathe. And bring your left leg between your hands. You know what's coming, activate the back leg and come to your high lunge. Relax the shoulders, breathe. You can look forward or up. You know what to do, if this is too much, you place the back knee down, breathe. And then exhale, move your body way forward for three, two, and then one, you know what is coming with a lower control, bring your right knee up, down, right knee up, down, Whoop. one more, right knee up, down, and this time we're going to find our warrior two. So you can place here, I'm going to do it without the blocks, and bring your right leg up, your left leg should be on fire, that's okay. You can bend it if you need. You can play with your arms. Find your balance here and breathe. Everything's gonna be okay. If you fall, you repeat. And then very slow, bring your torso up right into your chest. Breathe deeper. Extend your right leg out. And we control right leg down. Find your share pose. Breathe. Hands in prayer, right elbows out of the left knee. Hands to the center of your heart. Look up and breathe. Feel your heart. You are alive. And there's a reason to be thankful for today and every day. Open your arms if you want. And then exhale, come back to share pose. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fall. You know, press your hands down and step back or jump to lower plank. Inhale, core upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe deeper again in downward dog. Recover the rhythm of your breath. Enjoy the sensations in your body. Whenever you're ready, we're going to find plank pose. And from plank, we're gonna come in our forearms. We're going to stay here. Breathe deeper. For five, four, a strong core, three, two, and one. This time you're gonna bring your left forearm here down and you're gonna move your body weight to the left. So stack your feet on the top of each other and bring your right arm up. So this is a variation for side plank, breathe. Bring your hips up, breathe deeper, hips up, down, 
up, down. One more, up, down. Come back very slow, come back to plank pose, to the center, and breathe. Again for five, four, three, two, and one. This time move your body to the right and left arm up. Breathe deeper. This time hips up and down, up and down. Up and down. One more. Up and down. Come back to center. Plank pose. And this time, very slow. We're gonna bring the hips down. We're going to find scenes pose. So elbows under the shoulders, hands and bracing down. And here, feel the stretching of your belly. Breathe deeper. And the next cell very slow. We're gonna go all the way down. Remove the blocks. This time we're gonna bring both feet up. We're gonna grab the ankles if we can. And when I say inhale, we're gonna keep back and we're gonna bring the chest up. Inhale. This is bow pose. Maybe you can bring the big toes together and kick back. Maybe not. That's okay. Breathe. And then exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Breathe. Exhale down. Relax. Bring your hands under your shoulders, legs together, and bring all your body to child's pose and take a two breath here. And when you're ready, find downward dog. Breathe. We're gonna flow one more time. And we're gonna bring this time the right leg as high as we can, keeping the shoulders aligned. Shoulders square. Bring your right knee to your right armpit. And then exhale, keep back. Right, right forearm. Exhale, kick back. Right knee, right forearm. Exhale, keep back. One more. Exhale, keep back. Bend the knee. Maybe they need the highest point. Maybe you can look over your left armpit. Or maybe you can see your right foot opening the hips. And this time you can flip the dog or not. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. If you don't want to, you're going to stay here. This is beautiful. Maybe you can move your body weight to your left. Come to your right tippy toes and bring your hips high and look back. A smile and breathe. This is wild thing. And then exhale with control. We're gonna find one more time three legged dog. And you're going to bring your right knee, right wrist. And find pigeon pose, half pigeon pose. So here in pigeon. The, ideally, the leg is 90 degree angle, but if we cannot make it, that's fine. You can stay where you are, but what is important is to square the hips. So if you feel that like your hips are going too much to the right, maybe you can use the block and to place it here under just to keep your hips square and press the knees down to bring the upper body up, right? So we're going to inhale, press the knees up, and then exhale, move your body way forward. Find your edge, you're gonna stay in your forearms, hands, or maybe if you're more flexible, you're gonna stay all the way down. Breathe. And then 
exhale very slow, bring your body up, press your hands down, activate the back leg, off and kick back your right leg. Whenever you're ready, find your downward dog one more time. Breathe deeper. And bring your left leg up all the way. Bring your left knee to your left forearm. Exhale out. Left knee, left forearm. Exhale out. So we're working to our core. Left knee, left forearm, exhale out. Left knee, forearm, exhale out. And may the left knee the highest point to open in your hips. And you're gonna stay here, flip the dog with me. Come to your left tippy toes. And bring your hips high and look back and smile and breathe. And then exhale with control. Find three legged dog one more time. And then exhale, bring your left knee to your left breast and find your half pigeon. Breathe deeper. You place the block. You can do that one more time. Inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, grab your body forward. Breathe deeper, find your edge, and then exhale very slow, press your hands down on the mat, remove the block if you used it, activate the back leg and bring your left leg all the way. Come back to that word dog and we're gonna go for our last flow. We're going to inhale plank, exhale lower plank. Inhale cobra upper dog, exhale downward dog. Breathe from that word dog. We're gonna come to our tabletop and then from tabletop we're gonna find a comfortable seated position. So from here, grab your block, we're gonna use it one more time and lay down on your back. Whew. I hope you're feeling great. And here, knees are pointing up. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna place the block between our knees. Make sure that your hands, you can touch your heels and once you're ready, you're going to squeeze that lock as much as you can and you're going to bring your hips up. Put together your shoulder blades, maybe you can interlace fingers under. And breathe. So this is half bridge. And we're going to hold that block as much as we can. And you're gonna stay here, this is beautiful. Or you can come with me and squeeze that block and bring your right leg up. And breathe. For three two and one place your right leg down and breathe deeper and this time we're gonna bring our left leg up squeezing that block for three two one place the left leg up down bring your hips down release the block breathe This time you're gonna bring your knees like this up, arms up. And this is what we're gonna do. This is our last core workout of the day. So we're going to move the right leg, left arm down, and then exhale, come back. Left leg down, right arm down, without touching the mat, exhale, come back. And then right, come up, your left, come up, your right, come up, 
and then your left, come up, your right, up, your left, up, and then your right, up, your left, up, we control, your right, your left, and then up, and then this time both legs, and then we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, and then one, come up, <laughs> breathe, Ooh. we're going to do it one more time, when you're ready, both legs and both arms down without touching the mat, and breathe for five, four, three, two, and then one, relax completely, Woo. Even for me, it was a challenge. Breathe. Bring both knees to your chest. And give yourself a nice massage to your lower back. Bring both legs up, your right leg over the left. Eagle arm, eagle leg. Open the arms and bring both legs to the left and look over the right. Breathe. Exhale, come back to center and switch your left leg over the right and bring both legs to the right and look over the left breathe deeper then come back to center relax the legs move legs up the sole of the feet are pointing up and this time we're gonna find our happy baby bring your knees as close as you can to your armpit lower back is pressing down with your shoulders maybe you can rock the baby breathe deeper If you want to go for a deeper happy baby you can use your peace fingers with your toes and open your legs wider all right so it's your choice i'm gonna stay here bring the sole of the feet together interlace fingers bring your heels as close as you can to your glutes And then exhale, very slow, relax your legs all the way out. Arms on the side, palms are facing up. Your Shavasana, your final relaxation. No more control of the breath, relax the body. Keep your eyes closed and enjoy here. Thank you so much. Namaste.